Hey, how's it going, Rams? Like shit, back with another video. And this video is gonna be a little more serious. It's gonna be talking about some stuff and a lot of stuff uh, that's been going on recently. And yeah, a lot of other stuff. So the last video I saw you saw was that Sears commercial, which some of you guys are probably confused about. It was for us, like some class project though, where to turn like a CEO of a company or something. I just chose Sears for some reason because they had said, "What's the think of like, the last place like store you've been to?" And that had been one of them. So I chose that. So if you're really confused about that, that's why it was more of a class project thing. So yeah. That's why I did that. But I also did get like nine likes and like 60 views, so thank you for the support on that. And also some other stuff that I would like to see. As you saw in the title, it said realizing the truth. And what I mean by that is, I've had some ups and downs the past couple weeks. Like school's been going really, really good for me. But I've also had a lot of anxiety like up and down outside of it. I had, oh, physically I'm feeling a lot better now which um, my strength feels a lot better my endurance is getting a lot better which i'm really happy about but just there's a lot of other stuff going on right now which is like i know it's been some it's kind of super thoughts but I, some the moment i realized start 10th grade was that i realized i'm 16 right, right now i'm going graduating my high school in three years so just kind of that thought almost just kind of like scares me a little bit it was, I know it's still like three years away and, but I mean, time flies and I look at my sister who just went off to college and it's like, I still remember when she started her first day of high school. Now she's going to Grand Valley State and she's starting her classes right now. So it's kind of like, oh my gosh. And then you guys, everyone, you know, like sometimes is like shove careers down your throat. <laughs> Which I know a lot of high schoolers probably relate to that, but it feels like everyone's trying to shove something down your throat and down your face. But also, I've noticed too a lot of they're more they're more so trying to give you an idea, rather than just like shove a career down your throat. I know it can feel like that, but for those high schools out there, it really isn't like that. I mean, there might be some people like that, but I know it's more just to get ideas out. I've also noticed as I'm getting older, a lot of my friends are turning 18, and some of them are graduating high school or graduate last year, and a lot of them are really nervous because I mean, they're a lot of them are 18, 17 now, and they're graduating high school or have already graduated a lot of them are lost some of them i know have graduated don't have really a job or just kind of just sitting around some of them are off to college some of them trade school as many things some of them just a year or two off to work and it's just kind of weird to think too a lot of my some of my a good i don't say a lot a good amount of my friends are graduating this year or have already graduated last year or turn 18 this year and just kind of like wow yeah, and just like, it's just a lot of really like, I think I might be doing a little overthinking lately. It's just kind of like some anxiety and thoughts that have been kind of bothering me lately. And it's just like, I still can remember stuff from like 10, 12 years ago too. And I just realized how fast time flies by. And when it doesn't seem like super duper fast, so I don't want to like worry anybody be like, oh, your life's going to be over just like that. No, 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 no. But I mean, like it's. It seems like it, but it really hasn't. But it's just kind of like, instead of we're coming with the sister, I mean, it seems like she just started first day of high school. I still remember when she did. And now she's going to college. I mean, I was in sixth grade when she started high school. And now I'm in 10th grade. I still remember quite a bit from my sixth grade. I mean, it's just like a mountain that can happen so many years. It's just it's kind of cool, incredible, but kind of like a little scary. And I know a lot of high schoolers out there People probably around the age of like 15, 16, 17, or even 14 or 13 probably feeling this. It's just, I mean, it's a very weird time right now. And what are you doing, Cat? And it's just also, too, the thing with my house. I mean, a lot, I mean most of you know, or I'm guessing 95% of you know at this point, that I'm moving to a new house really soon. It seemed like a month ago, I'm like, oh, I have time to worry about packing something. I'm literally moving in 10 days. And I have three boxes packed. I mean, it's just kind of like, it's just hard for me to kind of look around too at the house and just see like my parents packing stuff up and like me packing boxes. It's just really just kind of nerdy. And I know we have to throw some stuff out. I mean, I know some kind of like a hoarder, but it's always been a little hard for me to somebody just throw some stuff out or get rid of stuff. I just kind of thought my childhood, I didn't really ever keep much from when I was younger, but. I realized like, oh, I already kept it a little more than I thought. And it's just, it's just, it's just kind of ner makes me a little nervous. 
And then just, I mean, I'm literally, I mean, I'm literally moving. Actually, you know, nine days from. And I have, not, like, next weekend, not this upcoming one, I will be moving in to the new house. Oh, wait. It's just like, oh, oh wait a second, I think my mom's gonna say something. Okay, yeah, she was talking to me just uh, I wonder if she didn't know where I was. And yeah, my, my parent, my mom, yeah, still asks where I am sometimes, even though I'm in the basement or somewhere, but they can't just figure that out for some reason. I've lived in this house for about 20 years. But it's just, it's really just hard. I mean, I've known, I said, I've, I know I've said this a lot in like the last like six, seven videos, but I've known this house my whole, this is literally where I've lived since the day I was born. Well, I might have spent the first couple days in the hospital. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've asked my parents. But, like, you know, I've lived for my whole 16 years I've lived on this earth. I've lived in this house. And the thought of moving away excites me, but also kind of scares me. It's just, I don't know. I have, thankfully, a lot of my friends are going to help me move. And we have, like, 10 people that are going to help move stuff, which is going to be awesome. We'll, I think it'll be a lot easier and a lot less stressful. But, I mean... It's just, it's just, it's kind of hard. I mean, there's just so much stuff that's going on right now. It's just kind of hard to think. Like, I know I still have time to think about stuff, but I just sometimes feel like, I don't know. I just sometimes feel like, I, I, it's just really, I'm guessing a lot of you guys have felt the same way before. Or might, or probably some of you are still feeling this way. There's just a lot changing right now. And it's just really hard to believe. I, I sometimes can't believe myself that I'm a 16. I don't, I sometimes just don't feel like I really am 16. And I still feel like I'm 10, 11 years old in a way. Sometimes I just feel uncomfortable because I just have never felt like I've really, I don't really feel like, I don't know. I still feel like super duper confident being 16. Even when I was like 15, I just didn't feel super confident. But I felt I was pretty confident. It's, it's getting better. It's just, it's, been, it's just some weird, weird. I just overthink a lot of things. Like everything statistically sometimes and everything's kind of spinning, spinning, spinning. And I just like everything goes wacko. Sometimes I feel like I'm not really good at anything. I'm just kind of like, ugh. It's just kind of like, there's just a lot of stuff going on. There's also, I mean, it's just, it's just, it really is crazy. I mean, I'm, I mean, I know people that I've known. Like, I mean, just some of the kids in my school now. I mean, I've known some since I got there in 8th grade. And they've been in 10th grade. They're graduating this year. It's like, it's just, it's just really hard to believe. I, just, I mean, high school is a can be fun. Especially my school is a pretty fun school, but like, it, it also definitely isn't the greatest time in someone's life, I wouldn't say. I honestly would probably go to argue that high school is harder than college at a point, which you can argue all you want in the comment section. I just personally think it probably is. Well, because in college, you can kind of choose your path a little more, choose a little more and have a little more freedom for yourself. High school, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, what am I doing with my life? People are changing. People become dirtbags. Some people just become look completely separate. Well, high school's a big... There was a study or statistic that said there's like... You'll lose like half of your close friends as soon as you get into high school. Which was really like me. I go to a really small private school with like 70, you know, like 55, 60 people with like K-12. It's not as much for me, but I know a lot of people... Who have lost a lot of friends when they've gone immediately high, like eighth grade, every good, and just kind of high school. It is it isn't always necessary for bad reasons. Sometimes I mean, sometimes it is for personality changes, when sometimes it's just because people just kind of separate and kind of go their own ways. But it definitely can be a pretty tough time in someone's life. Some people have a ball and really enjoy. It. Like I've noticed. I've known some people that have, have have had an absolute ball in high school, they said, or they told them, like, years ago they loved it, and it was, like, the best part of their life. And I know some people just say they just absolutely hate it. It's, it's a very split. It's a very diverse group because there's a lot of different personalities. There's a lot of different people. And there's just a lot of stuff. Mm, Chick-fil-A's got good tea. <laughs> There's just so much, a lot of stuff going on right now, and yeah, just it's kind, of, it's just a lot of stuff. I'm starting to realize a little more, and just kind of getting a little more cautious. Which I don't want to be like a nervous wreck. I'm not really like super duper duper nervous and like curled up in a ball. So like I'm still going to school and still going out places, 
and socially i feel like my skills are getting better and like personality i think it can get me a lot more happy i feel a little more enthusiastic to do these videos now last like you guys know the summer wasn't the greatest for me because i had i don't know i just had like some really big tiredness but i'm sleeping a lot better now getting at least seven and a half to uh, ten hours of sleep you know I'm, I'm just feeling a lot better i'm, I'm sleeping way better there are some nights occasionally where I'll wake up like two, three times and I'll just start sweating or I just won't go fuck with sleep. But yeah, it's overall things are going really good right now. It's just I probably won't be posting that much for the next few weeks. I mean, it's just I might take another little break, guys. Just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it's just it's a lot. I have a, quite a bit of stuff to pack up. It's my it's just really hard on it, too, because my dad's been working a lot. My mom's been working a lot too for for some reasons. Their work, I don't completely know all of them. And they're just working like, my dad's been working like 15, 16 hours. My mom's been working like 9, 10, 11. And it's just like, it's just a lot. And then we're trying to buy this house thing. And then we're trying to get everything figured out. And then to pack stuff up in like nine, next nine days. I and mean, we literally next weekend, well not this coming weekend, but like next weekend we are going to be moving. It's just a lot going on right now, guys. And for me, I think, I think I'm nervous about a lot of that stuff. I just don't really realize it. I think when I get back and when moving in the new house and everything gets a little more settled out, I think things will get better. But yeah, overall, feeling fine, guys. I'm just a little nervous and just, I'm just kind of stuff that's a little bit bothering me, but not like horribly. Don't worry. I'm not like, I still feel a lot better than I did in the summer. And yeah, thank you all for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And comment down below. Now, some of you were asking in the last video what this was. This is my new microphone that I got from Amazon for $12. It's a clip on one plus, also, one I could plug in the phone. My old ones were styles like these where you could only just like plug in the phone, but end isn't on this right now. But then this one started kind of Some videos I'd film with this, like this audio would completely go dead or it'd be like really scratchy. So I've had this for like a year and a half or two, which for 20 bucks I've got money's worth out of it. I mean, microphones aren't necessarily built the best, especially when you're just for like a phone. But yeah, if you're filming with your phone, I want to highlight a new check, the, get a mic like this. I'll check this out. Get a mic like this or that. Excuse me. Usually costs around 10 to $20. But they're well worth the money. It makes your audio a lot better. But yeah, overall, thank you very much for watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And yeah, that's it.